Hi everybody. Welcome to the masterclass. Kurt, you might just have to spotlight me so that my camera shows. Thank you. Awesome. That's brilliant. Welcome everyone to how to receive your messages from your angels using your angel oracle cards. And I've got a really beautiful class for you today. We'll just let everybody come in. Um, we had a record number of signups, but I think a lot of people wait for the replay. But I'm really, really glad that you're here. Thank you so much for coming. I'm seeing lots of people, lots of friends I know and lots that I that I haven't met yet. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Marisa, Jessica, Danielle. Hi, Joan. I saw your name first, Joan. Hi, Karen and Carolyn, Erin. So welcome, welcome, everybody. We will get started in a second. So I'll just stop sharing my screen for a second, just so I can. Um, chat to you a bit. So um, you can keep your your camera on or off. It's completely up to you. If you've got lots going on in the background or you're going to be moving around a lot, keep it off. But otherwise, um, feel free to open it. But please keep your microphones muted for this session. It really is helpful for the flow that um, we don't pick up on background noises and that um, we're not interrupted. If you need to ask a question, use the chat box and you can type your question in and keep it relevant and to the um, to the class that we're teaching today. So hopefully everybody has got a deck of angel oracle cards or oracle cards with you. It doesn't matter what deck that you've got, honestly, as long as it's got pictures, the, the cards have, have pictures on them. We just want to avoid, because of the style of reading that I teach, we just want to avoid something like, you know, the ones that have only got words on or they've got abstract kind of um, shapes and pictures on. That doesn't work with the intuitive method that I teach in my angel communication program and, and in this class. So if you don't have a deck of cards with you, don't worry. Um, on one of the, the screens that um, I'm using in this session, you will have... Um, some classes, some, sorry, I'm reading a, a message at the same time as speaking, that I've put a row of cards up. So you'll be able to tune in and see what you get from those cards. And we'll trust that the angels put those there for you for a reason, if you came without cards. But I promise you, you're going to get a lot out of this class. So my intention for you all is that you learn something new about how to more deeply connect with the angels and how to receive much clearer, more detailed messages from your angels and your oracle cards. You know, the practice of communicating with angels isn't just about using oracle cards, although it does allow you to have a whole deeper level of connection with your oracle cards, but it's about being able to see, hear, feel, know, and understand the messages, the clear guidance that your angels have for you. And I believe that sometimes when we don't realize how much our angels can help us and how powerful your intuition is, and believe me, it is, right? Most of the time, I think most people are walking around um, with probably just appreciating and aware of about 10% of their intuition. If you've done psychic development work and you've been at this a long time, you've probably got more, much more awareness. But just knowing how powerful you are and how much support and guidance your angels have for you, then you can start to tap into and allow yourself to receive that guidance. You know, um, the way that we block that sometimes is through guilt. You can feel guilty um, asking and receiving help, not just from your angels, but from anybody. And that guilt of like, oh, am I really allowed to ask? Am I really allowed to get all of this support that I need holds you back. And it's like you're putting earmuffs on and, and dirty sunglasses and you're la, 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 I don't want to hear it. Sometimes, you know, you might have some other blocks such as fears, 
you know, beliefs that maybe it's wrong to connect with angels or maybe that you're not really intuitive or, you know, all of these, and, you know, there's as many different negative fears and beliefs as there are probably people in this, in this group. But the good news is that with the help of the angels who are pure positive energy, they're pure love and light, and they're there for you. They don't judge you. They've got your back. And they, with the help of them, they can help you to shift, lift, and transmute those fears and any blocks that you have in your, in your energy system and your intuitive channels so that you can more loudly and clearly hear, see, sense, know their messages and understand them. And then, of course, follow the guidance because the guidance leads you to what you, your heart and soul really desires. And leads you away from what is toxic and unhealthy and heals you and moves you on the path of peace, which is, of course, the path of your divine purpose, your higher self, the one that you are um, meant to be on. So the angels are here for you. I'm here for you in this session. And um, I'll tell you more about all of this as we move through. So I've got four tips for you. In advertising, I had three, but when I was putting this class together, <laughs> I thought, now I'm going to do a bonus tip, um, which is going to help you to open up to receive those messages. And we're going to have a practice using the angel oracle cards. I'm going to take walk you through a reading so that you receive a message during this session, at least one message during this session. I'm also going to be talking about my angel communication practitioner program, which starts on April the 23rd. I'm really excited. And because I know a lot of you are here to hear about that and you're interested in developing your psychic gifts, perhaps starting or growing a spiritual business, perhaps you've been getting that call to connect more deeply with your angels. Maybe you're feeling stuck and lost and you just are wanting a new direction. And that's what that program is all about. It's a transformational program, but it's also giving you that professional expert level tips to be able to help others with the help of the angels connecting and opening your psychic channels and learning to read the oracle cards so i'll talk about that too and i've got an amazing offer for you guys just as people who have turned up for this class um, so let's let's begin now you might see and hear me talking to kurt kurt is my amazing assistant um, he's the admin so if you're having any technical issues you can write a message to kurt um, we thank Kurt for being here and being my backup on my Earth Angel for this session. <laughs> really helpful. And I think we'll begin with um, some grounding and invoking the angels. So if you're happy to do that, let me just open up the, the chat. There we go. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So make yourself comfortable with um, in your chair or wherever you are with your back straight, your arms and legs uncrossed. If you can put your feet flat on the ground, if you can't just make sure your ankles are uncrossed and your palms open to the ceiling and you can rest them wherever you feel most comfortable. And we're just bring yourself into a place of just being willing to let go of anything outside of this moment for the next hour and 20 minutes we're going to spend some time with the angels there's going to be some healing some releasing and some guidance for you just for you so just as you're sitting or lying down visualizing this beautiful beam of intense white light streaming down from above your head and surrounding your body from head to toe this is angel light, this is source energy. It comes directly from the divine, where the angels come from. And feel it intensifying, enveloping your whole body from head to toe. And it's a little bit like a divine waterfall in that it flows over your aura, over your body. And at the moment, just cleansing it has the effect of washing away any psychic debris, any lower energies, thoughts, anything you've picked up from mass media, collective consciousness, being out and about in the world. 
that might inhibit you in connecting with your angels in this session. So allowing the light to connect with you and you to connect with that higher vibration. And you might notice that you feel a little bit more peaceful and connected to your higher self. And as the light connects with you, we're going to invite the angels. So we ask for and invite the presence of Archangel Michael. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for being with us in this session, for being our protector, for placing a protective dome of light over this session, energetically, virtually, psychically, physically, emotionally, mentally, and in all ways. Let the protective dome of light go over us, over our heads, under our feet, over, around us, in front of us and behind us. Let it be completely sealed against all negative energy. But let there be a one-way doorway in the center of the dome ceiling through which anything that is released, ready to go, any fear energy, lower energy, that can go immediately up and be transmuted to the light. Thank you, Archangel Michael. We know that you will take care of that and you will protect us, keeping the, the vibration, the frequency of this session at the highest possible frequency that it can be, the divine frequency. And we ask that as you watch over us, that you turn up the volume on everyone's ability to hear, see, know, and and receive their intuitive psychic messages to be able to hear and know you archangel michael and the messages that you and the other angels have so now archangel michael's given us our collective protection he's now giving you your personal protection and he's placing a beautiful oval shield of light over bright purple violet color over your energy field and again under your feet over your head all around you and it allows that source energy to flow through you freely so just letting that archangel michael place that and that's you know, to do with your free will. So you have to allow it. You have to give permission for that protection. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for protecting me. In all ways, please keep away lower energies from me and remind me, give me intuitive messages and nudges when I'm about to step towards or involve myself in anything that is not for my highest good. And thank you for clearing us all of any lower energies that are blocking our intuitive channels. Very good. Now that Archangel Michael has protected us, it's now safe for you to open up, to allow the source energy to um, stream through your body. So just take your attention to the energy center. There's a beautiful energy center at the top of your head called the crown chakra. It just sits and it's the doorway between source, spirit, the angels, and your physical body and, and knowingness. And just imagine it like a sliding door. It just opens and the source energy that has been cleansing and purifying and washing over you now and is able to come into your physical and energetic body. And just breathe and receive. It's a big, a big key to being more intuitive and receiving is the messages is to be receptive, to not be always working. And you don't need to work at this because the light energy just flows through its divine intelligence. It knows where to go. So it's filling every muscle every bone, every cell. It's traveling through your energy and your chakras as well as your physical body, filling up your head, 
your temples, your face, the back of your head, all filled with light. And breathe if there's any tension that you want to let go of, any negative thoughts, just breathe them out and allow Archangel Michael to take them. We're releasing anything that might be in the way of your connection. And now letting the light travel down into your throat, your neck, your collarbone, your shoulders, through muscle and bone, aligning the vertebrae. Breathe, release any tension. I'm feeling the relaxation now as your, your higher self is being activated and your lower ego self is taking a back seat. I'm feeling the light travel down your arms to your hands and your fingertips. Through the muscles of your arms, your wrists, your palm of your hand, your left hand and your right hand cleansing and purifying and imagine a little flame that begins to dance in the palm of each hand because I know that a lot of you here are, are natural healers activating the healing energy in your hands you're being filled with angel light it's beautiful You might feel some tingling and the light continues to flow because it's infinite. You can't take too much of this light. Just breathe it in into your chest, your torso, all of the muscles around your chest and your back, your vertebrae, filling up with light, your heart, your lungs. If you've had any pain or any tightness, tension, just breathing it out. Because angel energy is love and to connect with the angels, we need to be open hearted. And the light travels effortlessly now. It just has no restriction or resistance as it travels into your stomach, your solar plexus, your lower stomach, your digestion. And your lower and middle back. The spine, the muscles down into your hips and your pelvic area, your whole torso, your whole upper body is now filled with light. Keep breathing. That's activated all of your energy centers, your confidence, your higher self, and the light now travels down your legs, your left leg and your right leg to your knees the back of your thighs, the front of your thighs. And the light is traveling down into your calves and shins, your ankles and feet, your whole body now filled with divine white light. And Archangel Michael is with you. And I'm seeing the guardian angels, Archangel Michael's band of mercy angels, and then moving any energy out of our collective and individual space that might be a hindrance or limiting or holding you back. There's been a lot of quite strange energies flying around recently. So if you've picked up on any of those as being a sensitive light worker, just let those angels lift those from you now. Let them heal you. Whether it's something you've personally encountered or something that you've just happened to have caught on to, A lot of fear, a lot of people afraid at the moment, and that causes people to act out. So just letting all of that go. The angels are very busy. It's like they're taking wheelbarrows and, and buckets and just taking this energy up and out of our space. Thank you, angels. Should be feeling a lot lighter and clearer now as 
Just visualize yourself for a moment, just completely filled with this light. And if you feel there's anywhere that needs extra light, extra attention, just take your mind there because that's how it works. And breathe extra light into that spot. And now together we're going to expand that light out into the auric field. So just imagine it going out, not leaving you, but just expanding in front of you, behind you, above you, below you, so that your whole aura is a glowing orb of light. Pushing out, of course, any, anything that shouldn't be there. Just feel that expansion of your higher self. You're protected, so it's safe for you to intuitively scan around you the outside of your aura. Very good. And now we're just going to come back inside. Just don't draw the energy in, but just come back in your attention inside. Come back to your heart. And now we're going to, together, we're going to ground ourselves. So I want you to drop a tree root of energy from the soles of your feet down into the earth, into the floor, into the earth underneath the building. Doesn't matter what floor you're on in your building. Imagine it just traveling through the beautiful layers of mother earth. Into the center of the earth, there's a beautiful glowing red crystal that has your personal name written on it. And it just pulses love to you. And you can wrap your energetic tree root around that crystal three times. And feel the love of Mother Earth coming back up into your body, into your feet, your legs, your base, base of your spine, coming up to your heart and mingling with the light that's within you. There's quite a few people here who needed that grounding, so we'll just call your spirit back. A great way to call your energy back is to just say your name in your mind, or aloud, just say your full name. Now you're connected to heaven, you're grounded to Mother Earth, you're protected and you're clear. So we'll ask your guardian angels to step forward to make themselves known in your awareness. So they, they're in your aura with you. They always are, just like you're always connected to the divine source, but we're not always aware of it. So I just want you to be aware of the two guardian angels that are in your aura with you. It's usually a very peaceful, calming feeling, loving. Hello, guardian angels. Thank you for being here with us. And now I'm seeing the other angels coming in. We have a team of, of archangels coming in. Raziel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Raphael, Gabriel, Jeremiah, Shamuel, Raguel, Azrael. Archangel Sandalphon is here and Uriel is here. Wow, we've got a huge group of archangels and they're forming a big circle around our, our group energetically. There's lots more angels coming into for you. I'm seeing some of you have a whole team of, you know, dozens of angels with you that you've been calling on recently. So now is a good moment for you to set your intentions. If there's some particular guidance or something that you really need help with from the angels, ask them right now. Angels, it's my intention to receive the learning from this session. Thank you for opening my heart and mind to fully receive what I most need to know. And thank you for helping me with Amen. 
that's beautiful so we'll connect back in with that energy and it, you'll stay in it you know it's a little bit like having a foot one foot in in um with the angels and one foot on the planet when you um raise your vibration this way but just bring yourself back into open eyed awareness have a drink of water if you have some and that was beautiful thank you everybody it's always important to start a spiritual um, session like this with the right energy and especially to protect and and that's you know something that i always do whether i'm doing a reading a teaching a class addressing a group doing my monday readings i always invoke that energy first but if you're give, trying to connect with your angels or connecting with your angels not trying to receive a message doing something a practice like that that expands your energy and clears your energy and connects you to whom you want to be communicating with your angels right who are who are extensions of, of the source god the universe whatever your name is for it um that puts you in the right state i would never sort of get out of bed or get home from shopping or going for a walk and just dive into a reading um, or a, a healing session with a, a client or even a for myself because that means i'm going in cold i haven't um connected in to where i need to connect in i haven't raised my vibration and to connect with my higher self so i'd love to know in the chat how do you feel different than you did when you first came into this class um yeah karma so that's a that's i want you to note how you feel because that's how as um a, a medium an angel medium a psychic a person who who reads cards that's how you that ha, that's how you know you're in your higher self that's how you know you're connected vibration is higher feel lighter thank you lisa karma lighter feeling the tingles that's it has anyone noticed a change in your vision? Calmer, more grounded. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Vision is clearer. Yeah, it's like someone's cleaned the windows, right? Or taken the, the curtains back. Yeah. Eyes watering, tears and releasing all a sign that you're um, connecting to the angels because they're pure love. They make us release sharper, more crisp. Yeah. Isn't it great? And you have access to that at any time, you know. Heart feels at peace. Hi, Paul. Hi, Joan. Louder when we turned up. The... Yeah, turned up the volume. So your psychic hearing switched on. Heart feels at peace reunion with my guardian angels yeah brilliant feet tingling so you might have needed grounding melody and also the activation of your your earth star chakra which is beneath our feet which we often um, don't connect with you know our um physical body and our energy body are a vessel it's a channel so if you imagine it's like an antenna you know on your radio or um where you your when you're properly attuned and you learn how to open up those psychic channels you um are receptive you're you're receiving divine messages you're able to reach this the spirit world so that was a sort of a introduction into into that yeah we all need our angels don't we and and um especially we live in this duality where there's so much fear um the fear can really take over and make you feel like you're um, going crazy <laughs> and, and feel like you're alone and feel like you're um, not able to contact your angels or even it sort of interferes in your mind and it makes you think, well, I can't be bothered or oh, I don't want to meditate today. I'll just go straight onto my phone or I'll watch TV or I'll um gossip or you know it's it we start to get our energy from lower vibrational sources because our ego is in charge and um the ego starts to take over 
when lower energy starts to coat our our energy field and our chakras so who here would say that you are um put a yes in the comments do you do you consider yourself sensitive sensitive to energy empathic clairsentient it's a psychic ability empathy and sensitivity yeah look at all the yeses my screen is moving really quickly yeah so if you're sensitive you're much more likely to soak up the energy in the world the fear energy not just the love energy the fear energy so that ability to be sensitive and empathic is your gift and clairsentience is a very strong psychic channel but when you attach to lower energies sometimes through no fault of your own right um but it's those lower energies start to coat your energy centers and fill up your aura and so that then becomes a block because you're so sensitive you very easily drop your vibration start to feel unwell you start to have lots of negative thoughts angry thoughts you maybe start to get attracted to things that you wouldn't usually be attracted to maybe watching shows or scrolling on your phone or uh, gossiping eating or drinking getting into negative habits addictions sugar all of that because your ego is in charge you're connecting to a lower vibrational field and in that field are all of these toxic things and of course all of these toxic things block your connection to the angels to your true higher self to your own intuition and you start to feel like you can't hear them and the ego voice gets louder and the angel voice volume goes down and that's why it's really important to um especially if you, you you're identifying with what i'm saying about being sensitive that you regularly cleanse and protect your energy to because it, you're you're gifted for a reason you're here for a reason to sh shine your light and that involves getting your messages your guidance and your direction and support from the angelic realm and the angels by the way are pure light and love unconditional love they have no ego they're not um, judgmental and they never judge you and if you go off track or you find yourself coated in some yucky energy or you've found yourself behaving in a way that you don't like the angels aren't judging you they they don't even need to forgive you because you haven't done anything wrong in their eyes but they will steer you back when you're ready and you ask and you're receptive to that onto the path of peace and into your your higher self yeah so that's something you need to know about yourself and you know in my angel communication program i teach you how to properly protect your energy and that's why i use the word ethical training for my programs a lot because i'm very big on energy protection good boundaries being ethical with this work you know if, if someone grabs me when i'm in the hairdressers or in something go oh you're a you're a psychic give me a reading what do you, who do you see around me i never say oh and tune into them because I'm not in the right place, the right space. I do my work in business hours <laughs> and I'm ready and I'm prepared and I'm protected and my space is protected. So I teach you all that in the angel communication program so that your gifts can open and you're, you're not abusing them and you're not going to get swamped by negative energy. Cause I know a lot of clairsentients fear that, that, you know, what if I open? And I start seeing clients and I just get completely drained, right? Um, and that's a common fear of people that join the program and that, and people like you who are sensitive, but you can let that go when you know how to set proper boundaries and to look after your energy. So in this session, we, we've done the psychic expansion and grounding. We'll do a bit more on that in a second. We're going to prepare your deck. So I'd love you to get the deck out of your, um, out of the box. Now, I always joke, <laughs> we do not need this because we learn, we don't need the little booklet that's in your card, um, in your card deck because you're learning to read with the angels. You're receiving messages intuitively. You don't need your booklet. <laughs> um, so put that away and, and, Please, you know, get out the cards if um, if you'd like to, because we're going to prepare the card deck. 
So at the end, I will talk a bit more about the Angel Communication Practitioner Program. I put this screen there just because, um, just to let you know what's evolved. Uh, we're starting April the 23rd and it goes for four months with monthly training live sessions. So you're not, you're not every week with me, you're um, monthly. And we also do a lot of healing in that because of the blocks, the fears, the layers, and any energy that you've been carrying with you. Um, so we'll go more into that in a second. So when you want to get clear, accurate, detailed messages from your angels, you know, angels, as I said before, are divine beings of love and light. And everyone here has angels. Everyone has angels. Not everyone listens to their angels. And your angels never leave you. They don't say, oh, you aren't spiritual enough, so I'm not going to hang out with you anymore, or you haven't been listening to me, or you made a mistake when you're in your 20s, you were naughty. They don't leave you. <laughs> your angels love you unconditionally, and they know they, they are the beings, the guides, who are with you that completely understand that you it's hard to be human. And it's especially hard to be a highly sensitive, intuitive light worker human. And that's why you've got extra angels because they're here to help and support you, but also they're here to guide you to your divine purpose and help keep you on the path that is for your highest good, the path that brings you the most joy, but is also the most peaceful and aligned with your soul. So, that's why I work with angels because they're pure love and light. They're very trustworthy. They're safe to work with and they come from that highest source of all the divine wisdom, divine presence. So we, we know that we, um, I'm teaching you how to tune into the angels in this session. We know that we have spiritual guides as well, who are different beings, like a different species of spiritual being. And also we have our deceased loved ones who, who um, call on us and, and send us signs and messages too. But angels are not the same as, as them. Angels have never walked the earth as humans full time. They can appear sometimes in human form to help us and then they quickly disappear again. So the reason I've included tip one is that um, Remember that we're working with the angels. So when you are giving yourself an angel card reading, you want to be calling on the angels to be your guides for the reading. And this might seem obvious to many of you, and some of you here have already done my program, so you, you get what I'm saying, but not everybody calls on their angels before they do a reading. I've seen people just pick up their cards and start shuffling. So that doesn't work because if you just pick up your cards and start shuffling, you're not addressing your message and what who is going to answer the message when you start to shuffle those cards probably your mind so we always before doing a card reading whether it be for yourself or another person invoke the angels invoke your angels before you do anything else dear angels i ask for you to be with me today to give a reading to, or to um, bring through a message for me, whatever it is that you're doing. First invite and invoke their presence. Ask them to protect the session so that your ego and negative energy can't come in and to guide the reading. They are your guides for the reading. Then you've got to raise your energy like we just did to connect with them and as you're shuffling the cards and you're asking the question that you want the angels to answer, you're addressing, as you're shuffling, you're saying guardian angels or Archangel Michael, whoever you want to talk to, but you're not just putting it out there to anything or anyone who might be flying by, including your own ego, right? <laughs> or your own mind. I'm just seeing a couple of comments. Um, Karen, it might be that you're just releasing. Sneezing and yawning is a sign of, of releasing. So when the angels come in, they always lift our vibration. Anything lower than that starts to um, release. That could be why. Yawning, sneezing, burping, gurgling, all of that. So is that, does that make sense for everybody? Here's a little prayer here, which is, dear angels, thank you for guiding and protecting this reading. Please switch me out of fear and my ego and into my higher self. Amen. 
So why do we want to switch out of ego? Do, does anyone want to have a go at that, answering that question in the chat? Why we don't, we want to make sure that we're out of our ego. What a beautiful, beautiful group this is. Thank you so much for being here. So the reason that we switch out of ego is that our ego is our lower self and our ego is not psychic. It's not intuitive. It doesn't have the ability. And that's why all of us have got an inner skeptic, a little bit of doubt, right? That comes up every now and then. Yeah, the, you're right, Melody. The answers will be confusing and not helpful, 100%. We want clear messages from our angels. Barb said, yeah, not ourselves. Yes, because it's our mind and not trustworthy. Yes, Carolyn, well done. Jessica, so it doesn't influence the reading. Yeah. So, you know, ego isn't going to help you in readings. Ego is either going to be criticizing you. Oh, you can't do this. You're not intuitive, right? That's a sign that you're in your ego. If you start having negative thoughts, you just got angels. Bring down the white light again. Angels, switch me out of my ego into my higher self. Start to come back to that calm feeling. Or it, your ego might start making up things, right? <laughs> So the, the way that you know that a reading has been guided by ego, and if you've ever had a reading from someone who's given you an ego reading, I have, the ego will be um, making grandiose predictions, um, saying random things that you didn't even ask about, saying negative and fearful things. Now, of course, sometimes the angels might give us a warning, but and the warning might be, let's just say, for instance, it's about time you book that dentist appointment before your, you know, before your filling falls out. Let's keep it really tame so we don't get into fear here. You've been getting that nudge from your intuition a while. Your tooth has been hurting, but you've just been pushing it away. You don't like the dentist. You keep pushing it away, pushing it away. Anyone else do that? <laughs> um, so when you're asking your angels for guidance, your angels will make that guidance much more clear and detailed. And they'll say, in a peaceful way, go to call the dentist. You might visualize yourself going. You might have a dream about it. You might just have something that sounds like your own voice. You might just keep seeing um, dentist advertisements everywhere, repetitive signs and guidance, but it won't scare you. It won't be like, your tooth is gonna fall out and you're gonna have pain. That's not the way the angels work. So that's how you tell the difference between ego guidance and true guidance from your angels is that angel guidance is never fear based. It's consistent and repetitive. It's loving and peaceful. It makes sense. It's not random and it connects with the question that you have asked about. And that's really important to know because fear will block us. So if you're getting fearful messages, negative thoughts, putty down -y kind of messages, you're in your ego. You need to switch back into your higher self. Make sense? Any questions, just let me know. So number two is what we've just done is to connect with the angels and your higher self. So your higher self and your angels are like, what would you say? You know, they're, they're, they're twins. They're besties. To connect with your angels and your higher self, you've got to safely expand your psychic energy. And in my program, I have a switch on method, which is um, a, a method that I use and have used for every day for the last 20 odd years to raise my vibration and switch on my psychic channels so that I can clearly see, feel, hear, and know that the messages that the angels have for my clients. And I do that before I do anything. And then there's a switch off method, which you do after the end of the, um, when you finished, so that when you go to the supermarket or you're going to meet your friends for lunch, that you're not still open and picking up on everything and anything that's out there. You're safely, um, you're still intuitive, but you're not switched on and hyper psychic. And that's really important because there's a myth out there. And it, that's when the people say, oh, so you do you do card readings oh what do you see around me oh you're an angel medium have i got anyone with me people imagine that you're walking around psychically switched on all the time and i often joke that i would be a basket case if that was me but it's true we psychic energy uses a lot of life force 
and it's not practical, it's not safe, it's not good practice or ethical to have your psychic center switched on all the time. And so I, that's why I teach this um, in depth in, in the angel communication program. But what we did today with the white light, that's as a, you know, an introduction um, is, is a great way to start a reading. Expanding your energy and connecting with the angels and source is a way to um, heighten that vibration. And you already told me that you felt that happen. And that's how psychics, professional psychics and mediums and angel mediums can have that reliable link right, to, to the angels. So expanding your energy, not starting cold. Right? Don't roll out of bed and go, oh, oh, <laughs> like, what's on my cards today? Because you won't get a clear message. Any questions? Okay, tip number three. We're ready to prepare the cards. So we've talked about expanding your energy. That prepares you and the space and um, for a reading. But we've also got to prepare the cards. So has anyone here got a brand new deck of cards, like a completely fresh deck? Um, if you've got a fresh deck, you definitely, hi Carolyn, okay, so you definitely need to cleanse your deck before you use them when they, when they come from the um, shop or you've ordered them. So, um, and what you also need to do, and I'll show you the cleansing, we'll go through it together um, in a second. If you've got a brand new fresh deck, you also need to count out the cards to separate them because they will stick together and they're probably in some kind of order. So you really want to kind of smush them up a bit and, and separate each card before you start using them because otherwise you'll get clumps of cards and that's not useful at all. It's hard to shuffle them. If you use your cards regularly, who here has a, a faithful deck that they've got with them or a deck that um, they've used regularly? Yeah, you need to cleanse your cards quite often. So I usually know that, you know, because I read professionally, um, at the end of a week, I've got two or three decks that I use consistently with clients. Any decks I've used that week, I will put them on the windowsill with a clear quartz crystal on the top in their box and um, because the sun in Australia is so strong, they'd fade with the intention that they will, they will cleanse and empty out any debris over the, over the weekend. And then on Monday before I start, I will go through this method that I'm about to um, show you. Yeah, if you haven't used them for a while, give them a cleanse. Think of cards as, okay, they're just cardboard, right? With pictures on them. But they've been created with the intention of being angel oracle cards. Now, someone asked earlier, tarot. I'm not teaching tarot reading, but I do use angel tarot because you can, you can use them as angel oracle cards. The pictures and the messages, I'm not learn, I'm not teaching tarot, I'm teaching oracle card reading, but because you get so many more in an angel tarot deck, um, you can use them for my method of teaching. So whatever deck you have, as long as they've got angel pictures on them, that's cool. So um, if your cards haven't been used for a while, we want to activate them, cleanse them, bless them, bring the, the energy back to life in them and set a clear intention. So yeah, if you haven't used them for a while. The specific deck that I recommend, I did, I did put a few sort of um, emails out about that, but um, is this deck. This is the deck that I use for my group, Angel Communication Practitioner. I ask them to get a deck or a deck that's similar. This is a Archangel Power Tarot by Radley Valentine. I also recommend the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine. But Lisa, send me an email after this session and I'll send you my little list. Yeah, lovely. But any Angel Oracle cards will do. Honestly, this is a free class. I didn't want you to go racing out and buying cards if you didn't need any. So another smaller deck by Radley is, and honestly, I don't get any affiliation from Radley. I just like his cards. Um, sort of like Oracle Archangel Michael. Any, any that have beautiful pictures on them. So these are energetic tools. So we've got to attune them to your energy. And we also have to attune them to the angel energy. And we have to clear out any kind of psychic debris 
that might be um, hanging about, you know, from manufacturing to anyone else that's touched your cards. Yep, beautiful. Um, the guardian angel messages are gorgeous. The angel wisdom are gorgeous. Ravina, thank you. So let's begin. So take your deck of cards out. And, um, whoops, there we go. Take your deck, deck of cards out. And you want them to be face down in, in the hand that you don't write with. So your, your power hand or your active hand is the hand that you write with or you do the most things with. If you're ambidex, just, just choose either hand, doesn't matter. Usually your right hand is your active or your power hand and your left hand is your receptive hand. So you want your cards to be face down. You don't want the messages upwards. You want the messages down on your palm. And the first thing we're going to do is ask the angels to help us to clear the cards. So make a fist with your hand. This is one of my methods that I use to clear the cards. It's a quick method. And ask Archangel Michael to fill your hand with light. So you might feel your hand tingling or heating if you're very sensitive. Take a deep breath, close your hands and imagine your whole fist is glowing, a beautiful glowing light. You might even feel Archangel Michael's hand over your fist. Take a deep breath. It's my intention to cleanse this deck of any and all lower energies. And what I want you to do is to knock on the top of the deck and visualize that light streaming through the deck. You can now make your palm flat. So you're kind of sandwiching the deck between your palms. If you feel like, like Marie got hers from the salvos, if you feel like they need an extra cleanse, three knocks and then palm, right? Now visualize that light streaming through the cards and any lower energies kind of wisping up like smoke. And Archangel Michael and his Band of Mercy angels are taking any, any negative lower energies, debris, anything that's not your vibration out of the deck. Another thing you can do is blow, blow any lower energy out. So what we've done here is we've removed any energy that is not yours and that is not divine. I'm having a little, I always have little burps when energy is released. So excuse me. <laughs> it's my sign. It's the completion of the low energy, the burp of completion, we call it. So now that you've, you've done that, felt your hand tingling. Yep. It's the energy. Well done. So now you've cleansed that deck. You can trust that. The next thing you want to do is count out the day. Now I will do this once a week. Um, it's just, it's kind of imprinting your energy on every, on every card. So you just take each card and count it out. Oh no, you can't see my desk anyway, don't worry. Just flat, um, upside down make sure that the, the picture's down and the back of the card is all you can see and you're just kind of connecting with every card now when i read cards i don't give my deck to anyone else to touch these are my cards they have my energy on them and i'm the channel for the angels and that's what you're learning to do to be the channel for the angels channel means medium so you don't need to hand the cards to another person to shuffle them or to touch them in fact, I don't like anyone touching my cards except me. But if anyone does, just cleanse them, it's fine. It's not that anyone else has got bad energy, it's just, it just adds an extra energy in there. So just count out those cards. If you've got a brand new deck, separate them. And then what you can do is kind of smush them up a bit, you know, um, mix them up so that you're not getting all the same in clumps. So everyone done or in the midst of doing that, I can't see many of you, so yeah, you, most of you have got your cameras off. 
Well done, everybody. Okay, isn't this fun? How gorgeous is it that we get together from everywhere in the world and the, with the angels and we get to play with our angel oracle cards? Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, dream come true, really. Now, I want you to make a fan. Now, this is a really terrible fan that I'm making. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Perfection is ego. Just make, spread your cards out <laughs> yep I felt that yes <laughs> spread your cards out in a fan again pictures facing you backs facing outwards and you're going to place this fan across your chest it's across your heart chakra and your physical heart you are connecting with the cards and this is where we do the blessing the intention and so I want you to feel your heart energy sending energy into these cards this is what makes them so powerful we're infusing them with angel energy and your energy so dear angels it's my intention to use these cards to give myself and others clear meaningful accurate healing loving messages from you for the highest good really feel it as you're saying that it's on your screen it's my intention to use these cards to give myself and others clear meaningful accurate healing and loving messages from you for the highest good i now set aside my ego mind and allow your messages to come through unhindered by fear control or negativity so in this way we're surrendering our ego's need to control the reading right the ego always thinks it knows everything we're surrendering and we're allowing, we want angel messages. We have enough of our own thoughts. We want angel messages. I'm willing and open to the guidance you provide according to divine will and the highest good, amen. And just feel the love. Thank you, angels, for blessing this deck. So now you're ready. You're ready. You're ready to use them. Now, as I say, I do this once a week. You might, you know, if you just use your cards for yourself, if you're having a heavy time of it, right, you, and you're thinking, oh, it, they, they seem like they're, they're not speaking to me, or cleanse them, because we do, you know, our own overthinking over analyzing can gum things up a bit cleanse your energy cleanse the cards otherwise you know maybe if you don't use them too much just cleanse them on a weekly or a fortnightly basis or if you don't use them very much at all cleanse them every time you use them you know if you get them out of the cupboard and wiping the dust off them you want to re-energize and, and do this process again and I have all of this in inside the angel communication program and, and a little bit more too. So you will get these slides. So don't worry about writing down that, that prayer. All right, now we're coming to the good part. This is where you ask your question. And again, every single one of these tips is extremely important for giving yourself clear angel messages, because if you, if you miss out a step, your, um, you're kind of sabotaging the reading. So asking the right questions. It's important to know with angels that their readings, their messages are prescriptive, not predictive. They tell you how to manifest, create, find what it is that you, your heart and soul desires. They don't tell you if or not is going to happen. Does anyone know why that is? Does anyone want to comment why that might be? The angels aren't telling you the future. The angels aren't telling you the future because you're not a, you're not on a sort of a canoe floating through life without paddles. You've got a paddle, a motor, and a whole ton of angels um, with you, but you're the one that's steering. Your future is not written in stone. Free will, yes, the choice is ours. Well done, everybody. I've got a very highly spiritual, knowledgeable group here. I was told by a Reiki teacher, Cassandra, that I was fearful and 
No, it's not about fear. It's about protecting your energy. No, no, not at all. Um, yeah. So our angels are co-creators. They don't do anything for us, but they guide us. And they'll definitely put synchronicity support on our paths to help us with what we're asking for if it's for our highest good. They'll help us heal and overcome any challenges, obstacles, illness, disease, anything that needs healing. They will guide you. They're always guiding you in the direction of peace. So your readings are giving you guidance. They're telling you how rather than what you should, whether or not something will happen or when something will happen. Because look, if you say, okay, angels, when am I going to get this job? When am I going to get my dream job? When, when am I going to start my business? And you stay in bed for a year and you don't do anything and you just hide under the covers and you don't apply for any jobs or you don't start setting up your spiritual business. Nothing's going to happen, is it? No matter, you know, it, it's not going to happen until you take action. Oh, I'm just seeing blue orbs all in my room just now. The angels want me to tell you this. Take action. The angels have the action steps for you and they give you the action steps one step at a time so as not to overwhelm you. So who here has been waiting for that right moment or they want to know exactly what the path looks like before they step onto it? Maybe you're waiting to start your spiritual business or maybe you're wanting to write a book or maybe you're wanting to move, but you don't feel confident. You've got a lot of doubts about that and you there's your ego is saying to you well you need guarantees before you can do it but that's not how it works we have to follow the steps one step at a time in the now moment and the path unfolds one step at a time with the help of our angels and we can't possibly see that whole map sometimes we get a glimpse of it and we scuttle back into our caves because we're like ah. the angels don't want to overwhelm you and the path can't form until you start walking on it. You know, so if you're sitting waiting for guarantees and you're waiting for that whole map, you're holding yourself back. The ego has, has conned you into believing that and you have to open your heart and trust and start asking for this guidance. So with that in mind, we're not asking questions like, will I, should I? Should I is asking the angels to take responsibility for you and they're not going to do that. They don't do it for you. They'll guide you. They'll help you. But you're the one that has to take. Yes, follow the breadcrumbs. You're the one that has to take action. And it comes with trust. Yes, for sure, Karen. So, yeah, there you go. You've been holding yourself back. Thank you for, for being honest about that, right? You're waiting for that full map. But if, you know, we've got a saying in Australia. It's about the Northern Territory. It's a beautiful part of Australia. If you never, never go, if you never, never go, I can't remember it now. Why can't I remember it? You never, never know until in, unless you unless you go. So unless you take that first step, the next step can't manifest. So the map cannot literally reveal itself until you actually take a human step. And and that's you know that's the truth of, of you know from the spiritual perspective and yet you know our scared ego goes oh no oh no can't do that possibly i would never have gotten a business that i've got unless i had started with literally nothing 20 two years ago you know i i wouldn't be here today talking to you because i had to take that first step as scary as it was and it had to be something in the physical. So you have to take, write that first chapter, print your business card, hire the space, whatever it is. The angels are cheering you on and they won't leave you. They won't say, oh good, here's, here's the step, we're off now. They're with you. They're gonna put support. They're going to line up synchronicities. You're gonna meet people that help you on your path, but that all of that is waiting to happen. So with that in mind, what is your question that you want to ask the angels for today? Because I want you to get the guidance today for it to take a step on something that's important for you. Everyone gets the replay, Clarencia, no worries. We had over 350 people sign up for this um, class. Can you believe it? How exciting. 
So what is the guidance that you want to ask for? Feel free to put it in the, um, yeah, it, it'll take us a few hours to send it, but it will get, it will get to you. No worries at all. Thank you for being here. So I want you to think of a question and I want you to start it with angels. What guidance do you have for me? And I want you to focus on one subject. You know, if you're thinking about relationship, business, money, travel, health, and you ask all of that, and what guidance do you have for me about my relationship and traveling next year and going um, and building my business, you're just not going to get any clarity from your cards. Imagine walking up to somebody and saying, can you direct me to the supermarket, the train station? And, you know, they'd be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. So we want to be kind to our angels and also be kind to ourselves. When we ask clear, specific questions focused on one subject, asking for guidance, we're allowing the angels the best chance to deliver that guidance through our intuition, through seeing, hearing, sensing, feeling, and knowing. They'll drop signs and they'll talk to you through these cards. And also, if you ask a multifaceted question and then you pull yourself a card, you're going to go, uh, because your brain is confused already. So it's for you as well as for the angels. So pick one subject that's high on your mind. Yeah, it's that, and it has to be something you really want to know and speak as if you're talking to a five year old so that they completely understand what you mean. So Lisa, are you trying to decide about moving to Arizona or are you asking um, what step you need to take to get that in motion? That's a great one. I, I don't know your name, Y-L-M-I-G-M-O. I should have asked people to put their, their names up. Um, that's good. What guidance do you have for me to clear my financial debt? Angels, what guidance do you have for me regarding my health? Yep, so Emily, you don't need to share it here, but you can say, Angels, what guidance do you have for me? And then be specific about what you mean. Because if I was reading for you and you sent me that question, I'd write back to you and say, what specifically do you want me to, to, to ask about? So, you know, if, if it was like a knee issue, you know. What guidance do you have for me to grow my, grow my coaching business? Yeah, brilliant. Good question. What guidance do you have for me regarding having more confidence in my spiritual work? Yes. Or you could ask, guide, what guidance do you have for me? Because you're, you're, and this is a good, you make a good point, Jessica. And that is a great question because it's very specific. But also it brings up the thought of like, sometimes we think we need to do A in order to have B. You know, like for many years, I thought in order to grow my business, I need 10,000 followers on Facebook because a business coach told me that. So I kept asking angels, how can I have 10,000 followers on Facebook? How can I have 10,000 followers on Facebook? Until one day I realized what I really want is to grow my business. And I wanted say 10 clients a week. So I, instead of going, oh, I'm trying to, my ego is trying to make the path up. Angels, what guidance do you have for me? for growing my clients to 10 clients a week. And that was, and then things started moving, right? So you could just ask what guidance do you have for me for starting my spiritual work? But it depends on what your focus is. Jessica, I'm definitely not criticizing you. It's just brought up a thought for me. To start a successful healing business, brilliant melody, very clear. So uh, Lisa, what step do I need to take to sell my property because you've got a few questions in there so um, one question is what guidance do you have for me to um, easily and effortlessly sell my rental property and um, move move the renters for their highest good because it's always going to be for the highest good with the angels and then if you've got another question about moving you can you can ask that Make sense? Yeah, brilliant. So you just need one, yeah, one clear question. All right, how exciting. So 
Just for a moment, hold on to your cards. Come back into that center where we were before with your heart. And just shine your heart light outwards. And then visualize those two guardian angels standing in your field with you. Expand your energy up. And ask your question. Dear angels, what guidance do you have for me? Take a deep breath. Get yourself into that higher state. Beautiful, I'm seeing that beautiful white light streaming down into your crown chakra and your crown chakra has expanded to receive the message and then begin to shuffle. Now, if you're not good at shuffling, you can just do it in whatever way feels most comfortable for you. You know, cutting the cards works. Just do what you can. And as you're shuffling, you're asking the question. I want you to ask it slowly three times. And imagine that the angels are taking notes. They're like, mm, yeah, okay. This is beautiful. The energy is just amazing. If you have a card fly out, one card, keep it out. So we're going to pull out three cards. When you feel like stopping shuffling, sometimes what happens to me is my cards stick. There's a, there's a few different things I can teach you about the shuffling and the and the asking, but we haven't got a, a whole heap of time tonight. We've only we've only really got a little bit more time to go. So just trust, stop shuffling after you've asked the three questions, take a deep breath, and then from the top of the deck, I want you to lay out three cards. So you go one to the left in front of you, face up, picture facing you, one in the center, and one to the right. So like the picture on your screen, if you don't have angel oracle cards, the three cards on your screen are your, <laughs> are your cards. <laughs> now, if they're upside down, turn them the right way up because when we're using angel oracle cards, we don't read them as a reverse message ever. So just turn them the right way up facing you. If you had a card that jumped out, you place that above the center card. So it's like a double story card. <laughs> so you should have three cards in front of you right now. Now, I don't want you to overthink this. When we do the angel communication practitioner training, we do several different layouts. This is a guidance layout, but you, um, you learn to read intuitively without the words. But for this session, we're going to use the words as well as the pictures because um, we move into a more advanced training in the angel communication so that you, when you're reading for other people, you don't only want to be reading the words. All right. So the left-hand card, the very first card you pulled out, is insight to the present situation. So it's energies, forces, things that are influencing, or it tells you something about the current situation. Now, you know, if um, maybe at the moment you were worried about something, it might show somebody worrying, right? Or the word worry might be on the card. Just look for something that gives you a kind of a snapshot. And this is useful because sometimes we don't realize what we're doing to ourselves, do we? And it's like the angels are saying, well, this is how we're seeing it right now, the very first card. So, Refer back to your question. The most common thing that people mistake that people make is that they forget the question and they go off on some weird tangent with their cards. <laughs> um, come back to the question. The angels have answered your question. So the first card is present situation, the insights, things that they want you to know, at, and there can be useful information in that card. The second card is the guidance 
or action, the step that you've asked for. They're giving you a step, but in this card, they're also giving you some wisdom, some knowledge, maybe some missing information that you didn't know about. So it's useful for you being able to move forward. So don't just read the words, look at the picture as well. For instance, on your screen, we have the two of Ariel. We have a, a man, you know, hanging sort of off the edge of a tall building above the clouds. He's balancing um, two crystal balls on his arm and his angel is sitting in a bit and I can see she's sort of, I think she's thinking, come back off the edge, matey. So, you know, the meaning of that card could be, you know, you're, you're handling things, but you're a little bit out of balance at the moment or you're, you're on the edge. It'll only take a little nudge for that, that guy to fall off his, off the building, right? So see if you can glean an, an action step or some knowledge that the angels want you to know that will help you with the subject that you've asked about. And of course you can read the words. There you go, Karen. There's no such thing as a coincidence, right? Yeah. You know, in the angel communication program, it's smaller groups. So we, um, I get to bring you up on camera and we will workshop your cards, right? And um, we do, I do some coaching with you and we, I can answer questions. And unfortunately this is a, a you know, a, a shorter class. So we can't do that today, but just notice what that, what the card is, is giving you. Look for an action step or the guidance. And then the final, now, if you had a jumping card, that is also guidance. So you might have some additional clarity with this card that the angels are trying to tell you the, the, the card that fell out, if you got one. That's pretty clear, Melody. Yeah, so your worry um, about starting a spiritual business is, is holding you back, all right? And then the final card is the outcome. The third card is the outcome if you follow the guidance. Now, sometimes in that third card, there is some guidance as well for you. It might be showing you another step that you need to take or something that you need to know. It can also show you the outcome if you know of the path that you're on right now. So sometimes it'd be like, okay, be careful that you're not over pushing it, that you're not going into fear or, or and, and things like that. I got the five of Gabrielle too, um, Jessica. So the five of Gabrielle, I'll just hold that up to the camera. Jessica got that when she's talking about, we, did you ask about confidence? And it shows a person doing a jigsaw and the Archangel Gabriel has the pieces of the jigsaw that are missing. So it's like the angels are saying, like, things are going to fall into place. You can overcome this problem. Um, don't let it hold you back. Things will fall into place. So probably you would get more confidence just by doing rather than waiting for the confidence so that you can do it, right? <laughs> and that's very true when it comes to spiritual work. You know, um, we learn best on the job. Um, there you go. So I'd love you just just have a look at it. And you can also another thing you can do is look at it like a story, like how how are the characters? What's the light like? What's happening? If you read it as just, you know, picture to picture where you go, OK, you know, on your screen, you've got the Hierophant or the, the Archangel Sandalphon, the divine guide with his arms open. He's like, he's, it's, he's standing in front of an archway. It's like he's welcoming you into a new spiritual temple or into a new, new beginning. And then you've got the balance, which is, or maybe, you know, it could be about raising your vibration higher. They're right up above the clouds with the light. Come back into balance by connecting in with source. And then we've got the new beginnings card with the angel blessing the family as they go on their new journey. 
So this could be the beginning of a new journey and you can see the, the transition. Now, we didn't ask a question for those cards, so I'm just, you know, making up a story if you like. But when you ask a question, you infuse the cards with, with different energy and you notice different things that stand out to you. You know, if you were to cover up those words and not look at the words, sometimes a symbol, a sign, an image will jump out at you and that's the angels guiding your vision. They will show you what you need to see. You will hear the angels speaking to you as, you know, I'm talking while you're doing this, so it's a bit hard. The angels are giving you the message. They're not coming from your brain. So if you find yourself kind of screwing your head up and going, oh, I can't figure this out. You've gone into your mind, come back up to your higher self. Which is actually, you know, if you look at those three cards on your screen, perhaps Sandalfon is going, okay, this is the block. You're feeling blocked right now because you're trying to work it out from your mind, not from the higher energy. And as soon as that higher energy comes in, the angel appears, which is the third card. So what is the step, the one step that you were given in this reading? So Patty said, change your life. So that looks like um, making a decision, all right? So this is this three card reading is a great, this is one that I do use, you've probably seen me use it on the Monday reading, I use for my clients, but I also use a four and a five card reading for my clients, which gives you even more detail. And I teach that in angel communication, along with some extra steps, you know, that really give you the confidence because with intuition, some, most of the time we get that message, but we're not trusting it. But when you, you engage these steps time and time again, and you, you properly learn these methods, you start to be able to have a bit of confidence in it. And that then switches everything because the volume turns up super loud. Amy, complete my project before starting something new. Believe, not give up on my focus of what I want. Yes, brilliant. Excellent. Well done, everybody. How are you feeling? So I've put the, um, the, the, the process here in the slides, which I'll send you later. Invite the angels, open your channels and link into the angels. Bless your cards, set your intention ask a question in the right way i have a printout by the way a handout in the program with all different examples of different questions like if you for example if you're trying to decide between two different things let's just say you're going oh do i move to um arizona or do i move to massachusetts then you can't ask that in a single card in a in a one card reading you would do one layout. What is your guidance for me moving to Arizona? And then the next one would be, what is your guidance for me moving to Massachusetts? So that way you can compare the two readings or you can say, angels, what insights do you have for me about this move? And you just compare the two readings and, and you'll, you'll get a sense of which one is for your highest good. And really, that's the best way to do a yes, no reading for yourself. If you're um, trying to decide what is the outcome if I do do this? What is the outcome if I don't do this? Do two separate readings. Um, because you can't really say, angels, should I move to, should I move interstate? That's, you're not going to get an answer with um, detailed cards. What is the outcome? What is the guidance, the outcome you have for me about moving into state and what is the outcome if i don't if i stay where i am do two separate readings do your first three card reading on the what if i do take a deep breath put the cards away go and have a cup of tea drink of water walk around the block come back and ask the other question 
Don't let your fear and anxiety get involved. That's really important. Keep your energy high. Any questions about all of that? So I would love to um, tell you about the Angel Communication Practitioner Certification. This is um, what you've learned in this session is just a, a little piece of that program. I'm teaching you my um, what I do as an angel medium, a professional. So if you want to start your spiritual business or grow it, being an angel communication practitioner is an amazing modality to add to your um, offerings, to your, your clients. It's a very popular modality um, because I teach you healing, angel readings with angel oracle cards and also channeling angels um, as well so that you can receive messages without using the cards. You can receive direct messages from the angels. So I teach you all of that in the program. Ethical, safe, psychic development, how to switch on and switch off before you do a reading, um, how to properly protect your energy. And I've got a whole module on ethics and boundaries, especially if you're going to be doing this professionally. I have people join this program who are wanting to do it because they have or want a spiritual business. But I also have a lot of people join who are like, I don't know what I want. I just feel like I want to do this program. And that's okay too. That's the angels guiding you, right? The angels are, are nudging you towards this because that you will find out during the program. Because believe me, over four months, you're going to be doing a lot of readings for yourself. You're going to be tuning into those angels. So you're going to receive a lot of messages for your own life. You'll also have a chance and it's optional to work with other members of the group to um, practice readings. So you, you get to practice if you want to. I also teach you two angelic healing techniques, how to cut cords with the angels and how to clear, cut cords with the angels help, not cut cords with the angels, and how to clear lower and negative energy from yourself and others with the angels help. Um, so it's partly live. So I'm supporting you step by step of the way. I'm holding your hand. I'm mentoring and guiding you every step of this course. You never feel like you're on your own with it at all. Um, we have five training and coaching sessions on Zoom. These are 90 minute to two hour sessions. And that's where you get to, you know, we might do one on four card readings. So you come on. Will, it's very similar to this, but you'll also get to come on camera, open your microphone, ask me questions. I'll do some coaching with you for the group. Um, lots of practice during those sessions, lots of um, access to me. You'll also get, um, so there's 10 of those because I do it in two different time zones. I do it in this time slot for the US and the Australian um, uh, clients. Um, and I, I also, have people from Europe. So I do it of an evening as well. So seven o'clock on a Tuesday for Australia, Europe, and 10 a.m. on a Wednesday, Australian time, which is Tuesday night for you in the US, for my US and Canadian, um, and some, some Asian people from Asian countries come as well. So that splits the group up, which means the groups are smaller. So you do, you will get that personal attention from me. You'll have four healing sessions deep angelic detox, clearing blocks from your psychic channels, clearing lower energies, layers, past lives, fear, negative beliefs, angelic mind reset, where we clear out beliefs that are holding you back and hindering you. So many people finish this program saying, I let go of so much. I feel completely different. I let go of negative habits. I found my confidence. It's it's really, really powerful. And, and I honestly feel teary because not I'm not tooting my own horn here. This is the angels. But this is my dream course because I've been teaching this for a long time. And to be able to do it part pre-recorded. So you get eight pre-recorded modules, which are not overwhelming. Believe me, I have done courses online where people have gone, here are 27 three-hour videos. And I've been like, these are short videos. <laughs> There's an audio version of almost every video. So if you want to list, learn while walking the dog or driving or whatever, cleaning the house, you can. Um, we're all busy, right? There's audios and videos, and there's also PDFs, checklists, um, 
There's guided meditations that you get to keep to support you, opening the third eye, um, invoking the angels, all of that, all that guide you through this material. And then we've got our lovely Facebook group. And in our Facebook group, which is completely private, it's locked, no one else on Facebook can see you. Um, I come in there every week and do a, um, a 30 minute live where you can ask me questions. I might answer questions that you've put in the group. And what I love about the group too, is that it's support for each other. But what people will do is that they're practicing say three card readings and they'll go, I'm really confused about my second card and they'll photograph the card, put it in the group tag me and say, Rachel, help me. And I can help you. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll make a special video just for you and go, okay, this is what you need to know. Sometimes I'll answer, type it directly underneath your post. And everyone gets to benefit from the questions that you ask, right? Because I'm answering for you. So I'm holding your hand through this because I hate doing those online courses where you just feel like, oh, <laughs> here's all the information, see you later. Um, so you're guided, it's over the four months. There are five monthly sessions because it's April, May, June, July, and August. We finish August 26th. You get replays to all the lives. So if you can't come to a live, you get a replay. And if you would like to join, and I'd love you to, um, I set the intention to attract beautiful souls who are um, open-hearted, and I always do. I have a special offer. I'll go through what um, we do. Psychic development, angel oracle card practitioner training, expert. So you'll leave being able to give readings to others as well as yourself with confidence. Channeled writing, channeling techniques, angelic healing techniques, energy protection and boundaries. And you learn a three, a four and a five card reading as well. Personally, you grow your spiritual and psychic gifts. You build a spiritual practice. You will um, learn to look after your gifts, detox and heal your own personal energy in your life. And you will uncover your next steps and the direction for your soul purpose. So, you know, if you're thinking, I know I want to work with the angels, but I don't know how it's going to work. Then that is what you will discover. So full price is 2297 Australian dollars. Don't freak out if you're American, that's Australian dollars. It works out about 1600 US, but um, the early bird which closes tomorrow is 1997 Australian dollars, which is 1300 US. Um, and you also, if you book in the next 24 hours, you can have a further hundred dollars off that. And the code is secret VIP. Kurt is putting the link in the um, comments and he's also putting the code secret VIP and I'll include it in the replay so that if you want to book in, you can come. You'll also get a bonus private reading with this early bird offer. My readings are $497 an hour. You'll get a bonus private reading with me and you'll also get my build your spiritual business course, which is from my own experiences building a one on one as well as an online um, healing practice I've done successfully for 22 years and um, guided by the angels and I've done it with not very much money. I did not spend a fortune on my business marketing it. Um, so it's like how to price yourself, how to market, how to set up with low or no budget and all the things that you need to know about boundaries and policies and things like that. So you get lifetime access to the spiritual business course. That's $297 value. Um, and that ends this Friday. If you want, you can also pay in monthly installments. And I usually only ask for monthly, but this time I've extended it to six monthly. And the early bird, you can pay without interest, $333 a month for six months, which is 220 US. That is only open for one more day, Friday, Australia time. So, um, if you would like to, you can ask me any questions about all of this. Kurt has put the link. Kurt, could you put the Thrivecart link in the comments as well for um, so people can use that offer? So we had several people join up after last night. I do like to keep the, the numbers quite limited in this course because I like to give you the personal um, attention, right? Um, 
this time because this is the second time I've taught this course as it is right now I've been teaching angel communication practitioner it was called angel intuitive no it wasn't it was called AIT angel intuitive angel therapist um, years ago I was teaching it over six weeks just live but now last year I spent the year pre-recording and creating a beautiful platform um, where you can log in at any time and do it at your own pace. And I drip out the modules every two weeks. So you're not, you don't have to rush through them, right? And none of them are overwhelming. It's not a massive time um, investment, but you will come out with lots of clarity and confidence. The, um, the one that's on the button, um, GST is just for Australian residents. Um, it's, it's our local tax, Patty. So you won't be charged that. So um, if you click the, yeah, that's the one. That's the one, Kurt, you got it. So um, as I said, GST is, is just for Aussie residents. It's the law in Australia, I have to charge GST. Um, but if you're outside of Australia, you won't get charged the, the tax on this course. Um, and if you've got any questions about it, just ask. But as I said, I got some of the loveliest reviews. So even if you don't want to join the course, go and read the reviews. Um, and that's not just about, that wasn't about me. That's about the work that people put in. Just following these these methods because when you do use the methods it really works so it works to open up trust have a reliable channel a connection to the angels and to start to receive that guidance one one of my clients was saying so i just chat to them my angels all the time and she wrote me an email saying is that crazy i was like no it's not crazy at all that's what i do so we had several people start their spiritual business not everyone wants to be a healer some people have started a healing business, other people, naturopathy, coaching, but with the angels as their guides, you know, your intuition is sharp, it's developed. So you're able to help people at a whole new level. And you can, you know, you can say I'm an angel communication practitioner. Yeah, so I don't, by law, I don't have to charge Canadians GST. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm very proud of this course. It, it's it's helpful, but you can also take it as a personal spiritual development and healing for yourself. Um, it's transformational. I think we've got some people on the line who um, who were in this program last year. I used to teach it over six weeks. I can't believe I used to get that much information um, in a six week live program, <laughs> but I did. But now it's a little bit um, more comprehensive, I think. So if you can enroll today to get the $300 early bird plus the $100 saving um, of the full price, or you can pay your deposit and take that $100 off your deposit. Um, I'm not going to be offering the private reading, etc. after the early bird goes away. And so our first live coaching call is April 23rd, which I think is two weeks from now. Um, and they run, they run monthly. So there's a live call schedule. So Barb is here, Barb finished the course and she's put a, a comment in the chat. Thank you, Barb. Oh, Mel's here, hi Mel. <laughs> And of course, if you've done it before, um, my graduates have a special, um, a special discounted price. So if you've done angel communication practitioner with me before, you get to do it um, at, at half price if you decide to repeat it. And I have a special offer for that. So you have to get in touch if, if um, that's what you wanna do. So Barb did it and um, she's, she's put it here so I'm allowed to talk about it she said she's let go of negative habits increased her intuitive abilities and continues to grow and she's taking the class again 
because it, Rachel and the angels are so fun to hang out with. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, and I didn't solicit her comment. No, <laughs> I didn't slip you a, a, a free deck of angel cards for that at all. And that's truth. So if you are interested, please get in touch, send me an email, use the link that's in the chat box. I will send you all this later today. I'm going to have a little rest when I close this meeting. Um, the early bed closes Friday. Yeah, we're 14 hours ahead. So it closes Thursday at midnight. So that's um, today we are, are we Wednesday? Wednesday at 10 o'clock. So Thursday at midnight. So Friday it's, it's finished. So you've got, but you've got 24 hours to use the, um, to use that extra hundred dollars off Lisa. My, my, um, my mind is full right now. So I, I think if you just Google Sydney, Australia time, midnight Thursday, it will tell you what time it is central time. Just let me know if you're not sure about it and you want to have a chat with me, you can book a, um, a zoom chat for next week and we can discuss whether the program is right for you. Um, if you drop me an email about that very quite quickly, um, I'll see what I can do about holding that early bird for you. But um, I have a lot of, of zoom calls to do between now and, um, and next week. So, it's best if if you want to use it to use it straight away now um this is a loving course it's honest i'm very ethical i'm very high integrity and i want people to get the most out of it i'm not just selling you a course and just leaving you with it at all um at the same time you know there's some people don't want to join facebook that's perfectly okay the facebook part is optional it's definitely useful and you get to meet other group members, but I know some people hesitate. Um, thank you so much for joining this class. I really appreciate all of you. I hope that you got a lot out of this session, whether you decide to join my program or not. Um, remember to thank the angels for the guidance that they gave you and wrap that angelic protection around yourself and look if you feel guided thank you for joining this class i really appreciate it but if you feel guided to leave me a review on google um, about the master class um, please do so because it really really helps you know there's so much noise out on the internet right now and um very hard with the algorithm to get noticed so um, I really appreciate everybody who comes to a class, whether it's free or not. And I've got a, um, a, if you're looking at increasing abundance, I've got an angelic class to spark abundance coming at the end of April, 26th of April. So um, that's just a one-off class, um, angelic activation to spark abundance. So we're gonna do a lovely guided clearing and meditation with the angels. Thank you so much, everybody. I could feel the love, genuinely feel the love in this session. It's been really beautiful. Thank you, Kurt, for being my assistant. Thank you to the ACP graduates from last year for being here and um, especially Barb and, and for your comment. I really appreciate it. And I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Angel blessings. Oh, look, Kurt, you've got love. You've got love coming your way. <laughs> All right, gorgeous people. Enjoy your evening and um, look out for that replay. It'll be probably about four or five hours. Be there when you wake up in the morning, my American friends, <laughs> my US friends. I'll send you a link in there in the replay email if you like, Melody. You could just Google me and I've got a Google business page, but um, I'll, I'll send you that link. It'll make it a bit easier for you. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Thank you for your participation and keep asking your angels for help. They want to help you. You are loved. All right. I'll leave it there. Thank you. Angel blessings.